Today, the kids told me that the downstairs bathroom's lights were out. So, of course, I go and check. And yes, indeed, they were out. Of course, I checked the light bulbs in another lamp just to make sure. <sighs> another thing to fix. All right, I got this. So the first thing we need to do is go downstairs and turn off the circuit breaker to that room. So you go downstairs and match the panel number with the number that's on the circuit breaker and flip that sucker off. Next, we're gonna gather some tools. The first one is this electrical current tester and a light switch. It was 88 cents at Walmart. It looks just like the one I have in there already. And then some screwdrivers with some various different attachments. And my overly duct taped ring light. The first thing we're gonna do is take the four screws out of the face plate. It's a screwdriver at first and then I hand unscrew them the rest of the way. Make sure that you put these screws somewhere where you're not gonna lose them in a lid, in a Ziploc, whatever you gotta do, then pull the face plate off and that exposes everything here. Don't be scared guys, this is fine. Still broke, get your tester pin and I'm gonna show you, this is a hot outlet. That means that there's electrical current running through that. Now this, when it beeps just once, there is no electrical current. So this is fine to go ahead and work on. So next, we're gonna take out the top and the bottom screw of the actual switch that was under the plate. And I, again, I just take them out by hand at the end part. We're gonna pull that out, exposing all the wires. If you've turned everything off and tested it, you will be fine, you will not get electrocuted. But anyway, you'll notice there's two black wires and then one copper wire, which is your ground wire. Now we're gonna wire these just exactly like you see there, top and then the bottom and then the ground wire is gonna go on the ground wire side. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I just wanna make sure you guys understand this. We're gonna unscrew those screws and we're gonna spread that apart and then we're gonna just pull these off and then we're just at putting them right back on the same spot on the new switch, just that simple. So there's three that we have to do. So the top one, and then the bottom one, which is giving me a little bit of trouble here, Come on, sometimes you gotta pull them. And if I had needle nose pliers, it would be so much easier. But anyway, I got it. So then you just tighten those screws back around those wires and you're going to make sure that you get the ground wire that's on the other side, that is very important. Um, just make sure those are all screwed back in. And then we're simply going to squeeze all the wires together and we're gonna push it all back in there and then put the top and the bottom screw right back in there. It's just that simple, guys. It's nothing to be scared about. Um, it's just electric. That's all. All right, guys. Just make sure those are in good and tight. And then we're going to run downstairs and we're going to go back down to the panel and flip the switch, run back upstairs, and simply flip the switch and let there be light. The very last thing is replacing the light switch cover and then make sure you turn this on and off and on and off. Another project completed by October Dragonfly. And that's so good.